Graham was a father, father-in-law, a brother, cousin, grandfather, great-grandfather, and friend to many people. He was a retired chemist who was an expert in his field, a lover of sport, particularly rugby and cricket, and a very proud Welshman. His family meant everything to him, and he was definitely the heart of his family. Graham lived with one of his daughters, and when lockdown started in early March, both of them started to self-isolate, just to keep him free from the risk of COVID. Unfortunately, this didn't stop him from falling, and on the 28th of March, he ended up in hospital, where they confirmed he had sustained a fracture. The family were obviously anxious about him being in the hospital and kept in close touch with the ward staff, making it clear that they would like him to come home as soon as it was appropriate for him. It was agreed that he would hopefully be discharged later on that week, and plans were made at home to keep um, his environment safe for him, um, moving furniture, moving his room around, stuff like that. His condition did not improve as quickly as we had hoped and he developed pneumonia and a few days later on the 11th of April we had the news that we had been dreading. He tested positive for Covid. During the period of his hospital stay we had not been able to visit due to the visiting guidance in place at the time. Then we had this news and then we were afraid that we would never see him again. That fear became reality when a few days later on April the 15th we were informed that he had died. During the time of his hospital stay, the, the ward had kept us updated daily on, on his condition. We even had a message from a friend of a colleague who worked in the hospital who was able to pop in and see him. They were able to give us a personal update on him describing what he was wearing, how he looked, and that they'd even been able to just touch his hand for us. That meant so much to us. Usually at times like this, as the nurse in the family, I am the one that can advise, explain, reassure, but this time I was floundering. As a nurse, I know why no one could visit and why the restrictions were so severe. But as his daughter-in-law, the wife of his son, the mother of his grandchildren, I struggled with this. This generous-hearted, funny, clever, loving man who had given so much to his family and his friends had had to be alone during his three-week hospital stay and he had to be alone when he died. As a family, we were and are so very sad. Words simply can't express it. I've reflected on, on how Graham would have felt while he was on the ward. He would have really appreciated what all the staff did for him. And he was comfortable. But he was hard of hearing and I know he would have found it hard to hear people through their PPE. He would have possibly found it all a little bit confusing too. Graham was very proud of the fact that I was a nurse and he held the NHS in high regard. So with that in mind, I urge all staff to remember to protect every single one of us by maintaining the high standards of infection control, PPE and social distancing, both in work and in our social lives. We weren't able to have the funeral that he deserved, so now we look forward to a moment when his family and friends can be together and remember and celebrate this very special man, Graham.